All right, we're gonna try and do a quick little resolder of this uh, power supply for a digital dash. Got the power supply, soldering iron, decent soldering iron. Um, you can use a solder sucker or desoldering iron, whatever, to remove some of the old solder if it's really bad. But I think what we're gonna do is just try and clean this up and remelt the solder and uh, not add any or take any away. So to start, we're gonna remove these uh, five screws from the back plate. All right, so we got the screws out. And then the points we're looking at are right here on this right side. These solder points uh, going alongside these two Phillips head screws. Uh, these two rows are the ones that uh, people say need to be re-soldered. These are the uh, power lines, I think, going to the rest of the components. It does look a little brown right there on uh, these two points. I uh, might try and clean that up just a little bit, but you gotta be real careful because they're so close together. Um, but what we're gonna do is wash this off with some acetone to get any of the, um, I think there's some kind of a uh, coating to uh, try and protect it. So we'll remove all that and then get a clean uh, hit for remelting these little solder points. So we just got some acetone. And we're just going to wipe this down. This area we're going to re-solder, this little area too. All right, so not sure if you can see, but this uh, power supply does actually look pretty good. I don't see any major um, separation between these solder points and the pins, but we're going to give them a quick little heat up just so the solder melts, remelts, and uh, falls back in there and hopefully it'll work a little bit better. I think the only two issues with this one were like the trip and something else, I think. So nothing super important, but let's see if we can just touch these up a little bit. Uh, I've got a good uh, soldering iron. Um, it's a uh, Weller brand, around three and a half on the uh, heat range. Um, I did already tend the tip. Have done some soldering with this before, so let's just touch these. So that's about all it took to remelt this top right one is just a little bit of contact. Let's see if I can do it left handed. Maybe it'll show up on the camera. Left hand isn't stick. So you just want to hold it there till it just barely melts. See how it just, it's probably not showing up on camera, but that solder point did just remelt and hopefully made a better connection. So I'm gonna go down through uh, all of these two rows here and uh, just remelt it. I might try and play with this little one that looked a little brown down here, this one little solder point, maybe not, but um, we'll come back and see what it looks like. All right, so that's all the points have been uh, remelted, not really re-soldered, just remelted. Uh, not all the points, just these uh, power supply points over here. And I did touch up these uh, little ones on the bottom. So hopefully this uh, might improve whatever issue was with this. Like I said, I think it was just like the trip and something else, nothing like the speedometer attack or anything, but we'll put it back together and put it in and see what happens. All right, just some ending notes. Um, this is actually my power supply that came with my car when I bought it. I don't think it was original my car, but um, you can see how mine looks a lot worse, especially like down here, it looks real burnt. The main issue is these pins right here and they're opposite of where the plug plugs in. So I have noticed I bought a new or a different power supply for my car, uh, plugged it in, it worked great. Um, and then one time it cut out and wasn't working. I in, uh, ended up just reaching up there and uh, move, you know, pushing the plug in a little bit and the dash flicked right back on. So I think the main issue is um, the contact between these pins and the board. Um, I don't know if there's anything else you can do besides re-soldering it, uh, but I had a similar issue with the one that I just repaired, you know, 
a couple of seconds ago in the video, uh, we plugged it in and nothing showed up. The whole, the, none of the dash would uh, light up. So I ended up, it's already mounted in the dash and I just, you know, kind of pressed the connector in and down a little bit more and the entire dash lit back up. Uh, the trip meter did get fixed on the one I just repaired. Uh, the fuel gauge was very faint. I don't know if it was faint before, or non-existent before, or came on and off, but it just barely shows up. So that leads me to the next thing. If you resolder all these and you still don't have any uh, fixes or anything, another thing you need to look at is the capacitors. Uh, I don't really know, you know, how this works, but I do know that the capacitors can go bad, uh, which would cause, you know, things to go out on the dash. Um, you could also replace these. You can go onto a website like DigiKey. Uh, that's where I got my consult cable and my um, AD converter for uh, hooking up the Y band and the laptop to Nistune. But they also sell like all these electrical components, and you can look up the uh, exact same ratings or numbers or wattage or voltage, whatever these are measured in, and you can find a whole list of them. So I would like to try and replace these eventually because this uh, power supply does not work, I don't believe. I haven't tried to uh, plug it in a while, but uh, maybe that'll be a later video.